taking down on my pants. I don't know if I can still like that. Another one. You never know what you're gonna find in my hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of brush out the top so it looks a little more professional instead of so tatty. And if I brush the pink back, it looks like I have more pink in my hair than I actually do. So now I'm gonna do like half of it up. It up. It's already been teased a lot, so it'll have the volume I'm looking for. And I'm just gonna comb this. What's cool is when the uh, pink goes over top of the black, it looks kind of purple. Stretch it! So now that my hair has changed a bit, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing on my eyes. Editing. So, I'm using my MAC Fathy eyeshadows, which I haven't cracked open yet. I've been saving it to this special occasion. It's this cool charcoal black color, and I'm gonna kind of sweep it at the edge corner of my eye. I've already got makeup on from the last look, but I'm just going to add on top of it and make it a little more rocker. Just painting the corners and bringing it underneath my eye a bit. But I'm not Now, I'm going to use a bigger brush to blend it a bit more and use a highlighting color like this beautiful white underneath the brow and blend it. Oops, I could accidentally put in the pink. I'm going to get more, some more dark uh, pencil liner and make it even darker underneath my eye. On the inside. I saw the sky at the side. Yeah, I like these colors. And I'm going to use a darker color on my lips. See what I got in my magic bag of tricks here. What's this? This is vintage lipstick. Like old Estee Lauder. My great grandma's. I think you're not supposed to even put it on because it's supposed to be toxic. I'm gonna do super glossy lips. I'm gonna use this Juicy Tube gloss. Phone's ringing just in time for the end. But I look mwah. 